Hi everyone, I'm back in the kitchen today and very excited about it. Remember our last video, the Filipino food haul? At the end of that video, I mentioned something about buying a bottle of Sokang Iloko and trying it out in a recipe. Well, guess what? Today's the day and I'm making pork adobo pote or white pork adobo. Stay with me, guys. Here are the ingredients that you'll need for today's recipe. So one kilo of pork. Personally, I prefer pork belly for any kind of adobo dishes. Then sukang eloko. Salt. Oil. Garlic cloves, bay leaves, black pepper. And water. Check out the information box down below for the complete list of ingredients. All right, so let's start cooking. In a deep pan, heat the oil on medium-high heat and add the pork cubes. Brown the meat and stir from time to time so that the pork does not stick to the bottom of the pan. When the pork has started to brown, add the garlic cloves. Continue to cook this way until the garlic becomes fragrant and just make sure that nothing burns. Now's the time to add the sokang eloko, water, bay leaves and black pepper. Season with salt as desired. Do not stir cover and bring it to a boil for at least 10 minutes. When it starts boiling, bring down the heat to medium heat and cover and let it simmer for again 10 more minutes. Now's the time where you can finally stir things around, so I'm not quite sure why you're not supposed to stir before, but this is just how my mom taught me. And well, it works, so I do it too. But anyways, finally, just let it simmer for 20 minutes uncovered, just so the sauce can reduce and the pork can render its fat. And voila, the adobong pote is done and ready to be served. Because Sokang Loco has natural light brown color, it might seem like I've added soy sauce to this dish, which I obviously haven't. And you know what? I don't really miss it. This is delicious on its own, like this. So let me know if you make this recipe. And for those who haven't tried adobo yet, I would suggest making some rice to go with it because adobo is just one of those dishes that you have to enjoy with rice. It can't be eaten alone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for our next video where we will once again explore the world of books. Thanks. Bye.